r slash ask reddit what is your best don't knock it till you try it being nice to people for no reason it will change your life take your pants completely off when you sit down for a dump the slightly lessened restriction on your lower legs is fantastic a friend of mine gets completely naked to poop even in public restrooms pooping naked is one of life's greatest pleasures doors damn that took me way too long sleeping naked i always assumed everyone did it but apparently not i do this too but keep sweats and a shirt nearby in case of fire or some other event that would leave me swinging my junk in the street such foresight is admirable using baby wipes when you poop it makes your butthole feel like you just smoked a menthol i think it was howard stern who pointed out that if you got a bit of human shit on your leg you wouldn't just wipe it off with a piece of dry tissue over easy egg on a bacon cheeseburger. This is a bad thread to read while pregnant. Now I cannot function until I go eat an egg burger. You are making a person. Eat all the damn egg burgers you want. Sushi or a shower beer. Nerdy games like Magic the Gathering. Deactivating your Facebook account. My DND group consists of the following. Friend number 1. Former inmate. Convicted of possession with intent of cocaine. Sold E and coke throughout high school and until he was 22, was heavily involved in gangs. Then had a daughter to a crazy woman and went straight so he could be a single father, which he is an awesome single father. Friend number 2. Brother of friend 1. Ex-Navy. Works hard every day of his life to support his developmentally challenged son. Charismatic. Very attractive. Was always a hit with the ladies before he decided to commit to the mother of his child. Friend number 3, my roommate, former pot dealer turned very successful environmental engineer, used to train marines in combat driving maneuvers for urban areas, like fast J turns and the like, so they could use that cover to have him come in and help them teach Krav Maga techniques despite that he wasn't approved to do so, and I'll form the head. Euro style board games like Settlers of Caton, Ticket to Ride, or Carcass On. When I tell people I play board games like this they automatically think they would hate it but give it one try and most people enjoy them. The hardest part is actually getting someone to sit down and try one. And setting up settlers expansion packs. Dipping french fries in a vanilla milkshake or ice cream. I order a chocolate frosty with my burger and fries from Wendy's for this very purpose. One question, as someone who has never had water or anything squirted at my bum, is it awkward at first? My GF doesn't like to use it because it's cold but they have bidets that keep the water warm. To answer your question, I guess anything new around your bunghole is a little weird at first, especially shooting water, but just think about it as a shower for your butthole, not much difference, in fact. Find a shower with a detachable shower head and try it out. One thing I would say is that you kind of have to control your sphincter a bit because the water can shoot into your rectum and work like a mini enema. But I've never had any issues. If anything, that cleans your area down there even better. I fry up uncrustables like grilled cheese. Sushi. I couldn't even think of putting raw fish into my mouth without my stomach turning. Then I tried it. Life has never been the same. Sushi is one of my favorite foods. Taking a shot of whiskey and chasing it with kosher dill pickle juice. Sounds disgusting is delicious. And then a line of cocaine. Obviously. Brussels sprouts. Blindly hated them as a child. They just seem to smell odd. Can't get enough of it now. Sear them with olive oil, vinegar, garlic, salt and pepper. Heavenly. I order them as an additional side almost every time I eat out. My theory Brussels sprouts is that people just hate the way they're prepared. I've made roasted Brussels sprouts for dozens of non-believers, who had only ever had them steamed, and every one of them has come around. Sex in public places. What a rush. Golf. It's seen as a bourgeois sport but it's good exercise and a great way to get a few hours of fresh air. As a man, sitting down to pee. I have tried this and will knock it. I just want to take a quick pee, but apparently I always have a poop chambered whenever I sit to pee. I'm gonna be honest, if I'm at home, I always sit down to pee. I only clean my toilet like, once a month, and that's just for the sake of doing it. It's always completely spotless. 
chocolate with sea salt. Pineapple jalapeno pizza. This thread seems to revolve around drugs, food and anal sex. I'm okay with this. The top comment isn't anal. So proud of Reddit today. Prostate massage. Balsamic vinegar on sliced fresh strawberries. Seriously. Not caring what other people think. Avocados. The consistency used to make me cringe. But now I love them. Guacamole. On pizza. In sandwiches. Plain with salt pepper. Sushi. Seriously can't get enough of them now. Pho. Best soup ever. Therapy. Seriously. It's good stuff. And you don't have to have major mental illness to benefit. Potato chips on PB and J sandwiches. Plain tastes best. Or a mild flavor. Like BBQ or salt and vinegar. Liverwurst. Everybody always cringes when I get it. But it is delicious. Get it with mustard. So good. Wear pajamas under your pants whenever it's cold out. It will change your life. Longins. Banana bread fried in garlic butter. Optionally. Then made into a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. You're pregnant. Or high. Hot Kool-Aid. Everyone always turns their nose up to the idea of making Kool-Aid with boiling water instead of cold water. It's amazing. Dungeons and Dragons. Started playing with my flatmates recently and it's great fun. Although this could be dependent on who you play with. Our sessions are basically a few hours of adventuring and laughing. Pizza rolls and sour cream. Sour cream on everything. Replace vanilla extract with coffee grounds when baking, if you're a coffee lover. Live theater, musicals, sketches, plays. My friends think I'm nuts, but I go to one every month or so, and I have loved every single one. Don't knock it till you try it. Smile. Holy crap this shit is overpowered. I didn't realize how manipulative our moods are until I started intentionally smiling at people and observing their responses. I'm one of those people that can be perfectly content on the inside but not show a sign of it outwardly. So when I started faking it for a job, customer relations stuff, the response was nothing short of mind blowing. Throwing a shit eating grin in the face of Beach Tips 9000 and her devil children knocks her so far off balance you expect her to topple out of her motor scooter. And when dealing with the opposite gender, forget about all this art of game shit. Just make it obvious you're having a good time will have you swimming in the attention. Who knew people were attracted to fun right? Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.